Something epic or inspiring, y'all. Yeah, just grabbing some chicken sandwiches. Yeah. All right, guys. Detector symposium is done. I'm on my way home. Last leg of the trip, and. Uh, Yo, that was a super inspiring event. I can't wait to get home and edit all that footage, tell all those stories. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Big shout out to Byron Rogers. Big shout out to Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman. Shout out Jared Wihungi, Craig Douglas, Mike Canone, Tony Sentmanat, uh, everybody involved at the Protector Symposium. It was an absolutely inspiring, inspiring event. Thank you guys. Let's do this. Alright y'all, arrived here in Toronto. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Now, question of the day is, will I be subject to another COVID test? COVID test going to Miami, COVID test flying out of Miami, and then COVID test upon arrival at the airport. Wish, wish me luck. My nose is feeling violated, but I think it likes it. So you've been in this space for a long time, right? You've, you've, you've seen it all. Um, what do people still get wrong when they step in line into your class? What are their assumptions and, and how do you break them? Um, I think the, the, big, the big assumption is that there's some, there's some magic to it. There's some advanced something. It's not, I, and I, the mantra for my company and all is, the magic is there's no magic. Okay, it's, it's just component skills done properly on, on demand. There is no special secret anything. It's very, very simple, but it's, in, in, it's simple in, in understanding and it's difficult in application. To do the things that we do in, in, this, in this space are a lot more difficult and they're, they're, they're disproportionately difficult at speed. What can people not learn just by watching this video? Uh, I think what people can, can not learn is, uh, number one, not being uh, task fixated. Okay, when they're getting into vehicles, we see people all the time in, in Walmart parking lots, Costco, Target, whatever, chattering on their phone, negotiating groceries as they're getting into and out of vehicles. Okay, that's a huge moment of vulnerability. So the first thing, you know, you can learn just by, by being attentive to that is not, not doing that kind of stuff. Okay, being more single task focused, right. not splitting your attention. Okay. Um, I think that, honestly, that's really the most important thing. So many of these hits are in transitional areas. Right. You know? I think you being here in person, you can identify mistakes, you can make immediate corrections. 100%. You've, how many times have you done this? Ooh. Um, yeah, my, my recommendation for people is, and you can go through evolutions if you want, right? So an, an evolution being, let's learn certain skills and then evolve to other skills that may be more relevant. And one of those might be, are you training the way that you carry your weapon, right? Personally, you know, I, um, I, I, I work on a reserve SWAT team, I wear a duty uniform sometimes, and I mostly carry concealed, so I train all three. If the only time I carry a weapon is concealed, then that should be the, the focal point of my training. We want to definitely be training your, uh, to the way that you are, you know, to, to reality for you. 
And that looks like that's reflected in the students here, yeah, right? Absolutely. Most of the people are, are, are you know, we, we do have police officers here, uh, but most of the people here are training to, to access the weapons from a concealed position. You, you need to know what it feels like. So that way, when you're hitting and you're like, man, I'm actually hitting, but I'm fucking physically exhausted and the last thing I want in my hand is this damn gun, you're still gonna be able to hit, right? It's very important that you mentally understand that because that builds confidence, okay? And confidence gives you the ability to do things that you have no idea that you can do, okay? When you think that you wanna quit, you push a little bit farther, you realize that you really wanna quit, push a little bit farther, that's the mentality, that's the mindset aspect of this, right? And I guarantee you in the next, this next iteration, you're out. Sometime or somewhere, you're gonna wanna quit. Right? You're gonna be like, fuck, this shit sucks. That's all right. You're gonna work through it. You're gonna keep moving forward. All right, you guys, so happy to be home. So happy to have a proper Canadian Tim Hortons coffee. And so happy to be just moments away from editing this phenomenal content that I captured at the Protector Symposium. But you know, the thing was just like four days before the Protector Symposium, I was with Todd Fossey and Greg Nelson at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy and Integrative Defense Strategies headquarters. And I got that footage to edit. Man, my creative soul is beaming with excitement and I cannot wait to edit this shit. I cannot wait to put this stuff together for you guys. Heck, I can't wait to, to edit just for me because guys, putting together these stories is one of the most like rewarding, creative processes that I really have in uh, in my life and I just I love doing it so I hope you guys love watching it stay tuned okay I think this video is done enjoy Run there, boom, move another angle. That's the pace. <laughs> yeah, that is the pace. <laughs> How to train! I love it. Go! Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know so and so. They like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutter, my flow been like butter, my checking them bank. They see the number, all of my haters feel one of two ways Really upset that they show some respect I 
can't even think about it. I've been up, so read about it. No beat around it. Straight to it. No ring around it. You coming for me? We'll see about it. We'll never see you when I get my feet up.